Good day, everyone. I'm Poa Ying Khan from the Department of Engineering, Kyushu University. My research is about establishing a method to accelerate the research of anion exchange membrane field cell through developing a chemically explainable machine learning model that allows material exploration for such field cell. Why field cell, you might ask? The easy answer for that is that it emits zero greenhouse gases and has high efficiency making it an ideal power generator for use to achieve an energy a sustainable society. The gas that fuel cell uses for power generation, which is hydrogen, is expected to double in demand towards 2030 when compared to current standards, thereby signaling its growing attention too. The word fuel cell covers many types of it, but in my study, I'll be focusing on one type of fuel cell, which is an ion exchange membrane fuel cell. This type of fuel cell utilizes hydrogen and oxygen as fuel and produces electricity with the sole byproduct of being water. To date, many research and developments for the materials used in an ion exchange membrane fuel cell have been done, but they are mainly ex experiments oriented. Conventional methods of such consumes huge amounts of resources, such as labor, time, and money. Therefore, a more efficient method is required. This is where machine learning model comes into play. This approach is known to help in accelerating the exploration of new materials. However, it is not widely used in the field of fuel cells yet. This is due to three reasons. First, Open database for fuel cell materials, which is the foundation for machine learning, is currently unavailable. Secondly, there is a lack of know-how to represent the complexity of polymers in a way that machine could understand. And third, the lack of explainability of machine learning models gives black box problems to researchers. In our previous study, we mainly focused on increasing the explainability of machine learning models using sharp values. Sharp values calculates the influence of each feature towards the prediction value for the material. And most importantly, they can be extracted and analyzed. This gave us an idea on which feature is important and which is not. Unfortunately, even using such method, we face difficulties of explaining the important features given by the machine learning models because they were obtained based on representation of polymer structures in a machine understandable way using open source chemical structure descriptors. To develop a fully explainable machine learning model, the features deemed to be important must be understandable by us, which human readable in that sense. Therefore, we think that graph representation of polymer structures could be an answer to solving such issues due to the close proximity of chemical structures with graph networks. Thank you very much for watching this video.